He's a um, very easygoing, relaxed guy, a bit of a jack the lad. Um, you know, he, he just kind of feels that he has the, the world at his feet, really. He's fearless about his future. He's only like 24 years old and he loves life. He loves women. He's very streetwise, very confident. He arrives in Albert Square, gets himself a job, makes friends and makes a couple of lady friends pretty quickly as well. They've got, they've got a great relationship, um, better than you'd think, because when, when Callum was younger, Vinny left the family, it didn't work out between him and his mum. And, I, I mean, they're like old mates, really. They could not talk for six months and then just pick up where they left off over a pint. Stacy, you know, from day one. You need some help? Who the hell are you? I'm nobody. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, I said to Charlie there was someone knocking. Stacey? I do like him a lot because he just kind of, one of these guys, he just kind of goes with the flow. He doesn't think too far ahead in the future. He hasn't got too, there doesn't seem to be too, too much emotional baggage with him. He's, he's just like an, a normal young guy that's enjoying his life. A mixed impression. I think he's upset a few people already and he's kind of charmed a couple of ladies as well. I mean, he's, he's, he's a lot more charming than I'll ever be. I like to think he's got quite a lot of common sense in, in the sense, you know, that he reads people and reads situations very well, which I like to think I do. And like I said, he's, he's just fearless about his future. And as, a, as an actor, you have to be like that, really. You can't think too far ahead and worry about your future. And, and Callum's like that. Um, women, girls, I think that's about it, really. <laughs> Wait, don't look now. You are being checked out. <laughs> Do you know him? I've never seen him before. Did I recognise you with your clothes on? Oh, go on, what's stopping you? Oh, I forgot, Captain Sensible. Are you going to let me buy you a drink? Uh, why would I want to do that? Because I liked what I saw before. You did not fancy yourself, didn't you? You can't blame a boy for trying. So how about you give me a guided tour? The tube's that way. I don't even know your name. I'm Callum. And I'm out of your league. It'd be really exciting to see what happens with, between him and Stacey. Um, because I think when they first meet, one of my, one of my favourite lines when I first started was he's, he's chatting away to her on the bench and he says to her, you're a little firecracker, aren't you? Which she is. She's very strong and she's very feisty and very independent and I think that attracts him. I, I loved one of the younger characters, which was um, Joe Wicks, which is Paul Nichols played. Um, I, I thought he was brilliant and the storyline where obviously we dealt with the schizophrenia, I thought he was fantastic. And as well, I thought he was only, he was a really young actor then, I think he was about 16, 17, I thought he was brilliant. Everyone really, everyone's great. I mean, obviously you tend to bond with the people you work with, you know, so obviously you've got Bobby, who plays my dad, Lacey and Charlie and Lauren, you know, Danielle and with them. I've been spending a lot of time with them. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we're actually trying to celebrate something here. Well, then you've come to the right man. Only I'm a living firework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even so, uh, my wife and I, we... Uh... Your wife? <sighs> Sorry, my mistake. Radar must be playing up. Don't worry about it. You might as well sit down now you're here. What's your name? Callum. Well, I'm Danielle and... Yeah, and, uh, and we're actually leaving after this drink. Are we? Yeah, yeah, we're going to go and get some food and, uh, and then I'm going to get you home. 
Anyway, nice meeting you, but I've got a night to enjoy. All the best. So I've been having fun and bonding with them, but everyone really, everyone's been great. Disappointed really because the stuff I've done with him, I've really enjoyed it and he's a brilliant guy and, and anyone that knows Bobby will tell you that he's just hilarious. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. And so from that point of view, I'm going to miss him, going to miss working with him. But then that's just, that's just EastEnders, people come and go. Uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I, just, I, can't, I can't see any negative points in it at all. So.